only God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. There is one body and one spirit. There is one hope in God's call to us. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. O Lord, grant your people grace to withstand the temptations of the world, the flesh, and the devil, and with pure hearts and minds to follow you, the only God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. I'd like to read for uh, the Word of God today just the first two verses of tomorrow's gospel reading and make a brief comment on it with you. Then Peter came up and said to Jesus, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy times seven. Well, um, I have a brother and um, we shared a room together. We're, uh, we're uh, 18 months apart. And, uh, um, and he and I sinned against each other a few times. Maybe even as much or more than seven times 70. Folks do that. We have a fallen human nature. And one of the core things that you will be called on to do as a Christian, raising a Christian disciple who has been baptized into the Lord Jesus, and into his gospel message, is teach them about forgiveness and amendment of life and reconciliation. It's at the core of who we are and what we do. And without that, life is not possible. And so we have to begin to learn the hard work, but the good work of forgiveness. And how should we do that? We should do that without limit. Um, there was a, a Peanuts cartoon one time, and Charlie Brown goes in to wake up Sally, and she's, he says, wake up, you have to go to school today. And she says, but I went yesterday. I forgave somebody yesterday. Do I have to do it again today? If you're going to have life, you do. Jesus says this is at the core of who we are right through. And Jesus is one who does not ask others to do what he himself has not done already. The central work of his life was to take away sin and not to give it back, but to take it in and not give it back, and thereby kill it and break its power so that he could rise above it and share that with others. At the core of what we're doing today is we're initiating children into a lifelong process of becoming like Jesus who said that when our brother sins against us, we work to forgive him. We work an amendment of life and reconciliation. Amen. Dearly beloved, scripture teaches us that we were all dead in our sins and trespasses, but by grace we have been saved through faith. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. And he commissioned the church to make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Here we ask our Heavenly Father that these candidates, being baptized with water, may be filled with the Holy Spirit, born again, and received into the church as living members of Christ's body. Therefore, I urge you to call upon God the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ that of his abundant mercy he will grant to these candidates that which by nature they cannot have. One by one, the candidates for holy baptism will now be presented. I present Emma Wayne to receive the sacrament of baptism. I present Penelope Freeman to receive the sacrament of baptism. I 
Today, on behalf of these children, you shall make vows to renounce the devil and all his works, to trust God wholeheartedly, and to serve him faithfully. It is your task to see that this, these children are taught as soon as they are able to learn the meaning of all these vows and of the faith that you will profess as revealed in the Holy Scriptures. These children must come to put their faith in Jesus Christ and learn the creeds, the Lord's Prayer, the Ten Commandments, and all other things that a Christian ought to know, believe, and do for the welfare of their souls. When they have embraced all these, they are to come to the bishop to be confirmed, that they may publicly claim the faith for their own and be further strengthened by the Holy Spirit to serve Christ and his kingdom. Are you willing and ready to undertake this? Can all say it together. Do you renounce the devil and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the empty promises and deadly deceits of this world that corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the sinful desires of the flesh that draw you from the love of God? I renounce them. Almighty God, deliver you all from the power of darkness and evil, and lead you into the light and obedience of the kingdom of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So do you turn to Jesus Christ and confess him as your Lord and Savior? I do. Do you joyfully receive the Christian faith as revealed in the Holy Scriptures of the Old and New Testaments? I do. And will you obediently keep God's holy will and commandments and walk in them all the days of your life? I will, Lord, be my Lord. Now will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support these persons in their life in Christ? We, we will. will. Let us join with these candidates to proclaim our faith in the words of the ancient baptismal confession, the Apostles' Creed. Do you believe and trust in God the Father? I, I do. do. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe and trust in Jesus Christ? I do. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe and trust in the Holy Spirit? I do. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us now pray for these candidates who are to receive the sacrament of baptism. That these children may come to confess their faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. We, we beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That all these candidates may continue in the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in the prayers. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That they may walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which they have been called ever growing in faith and all heavenly virtues. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That they may persevere in resisting evil and whenever they fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That they may proclaim by word and deed the good news of God in Christ Jesus to a lost and broken world. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That as living members of the body of Christ, they may grow up in every way to him who is the head. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. That, looking to Jesus, they may run with endurance the race set before them, and at the last receive the unfading crown of glory. We beseech you to hear us, good Lord. Almighty and everlasting Father, in your great mercy you saved Noah and his family in the ark from the destruction of the flood, prefiguring the sacrament of holy baptism. Look mercifully upon these your servants, wash and sanctify them through your Holy Spirit, that they may be delivered from destruction and received into the ark of Christ's church, and be steadfast in faith, joyful through hope, and rooted in love. They may pass through the turbulent floods of this troublesome world and come into the land of everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord. 
only with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift him up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In it, your son Jesus received the baptism of John in the river Jordan, where the Holy Spirit descended upon him as a dove. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it we are buried with Christ in his death. By it we share his resurrection. Through it we are made regenerate by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now, Father, sanctify this water by the power of your Holy Spirit. May all who are baptized here be cleansed from sin, be born again, and continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Emily, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Penelope Freeman, I baptize you. I baptize you, sweetheart, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now we say when a child cries at baptism, it's, it's the devil um, realizing he lost another one. <laughs> He's upset about it. We got another one. Good boy. All right. Heavenly Father, we thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit, you have bestowed upon these your servants the forgiveness of sin. Receive them as your own children by adoption and make them members of your holy church. Raise them to the new life of grace. 
Sustain them, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit, that they may enjoy everlasting salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us welcome the newly baptized. We We receive you into the fellowship of the church, confess the faith of Christ crucified, proclaim his resurrection, and share with us in the royal priesthood of all his 